Before I start today's video, make sure you subscribe my new YouTube channel that is Just a Tick 2.0. On that channel, I keep uploading some exclusive content and early access content. So I hope you will support this new channel also. So links in the description, you can check out from there. All right, now let's start today's video. So hello everyone, this is Just a Tick and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 16.3.1. And last time on my channel, I've uploaded the iOS 15.3. 7.3 jailbreak video so if you have those devices in that is 15 is available you can check out that video that will help you out and now i have this iphone 8 that is running on the latest 16.3.1 at the moment so i will try to jailbreak it and show you how you can do that step by step on your windows machine so no need of mac no need of linux all you can do it on your windows machine just follow this video carefully and you will get a full jailbreak with tweaks supported on the latest ios 16.3.1 on iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x that is a11 devices but specifically for a11 devices you need to turn off your face id touch id and passcode and after that you can proceed for the jailbreak and if you have jailbroken with any other jailbreak in the past make sure you first clean reset your device or restore it and after that you can continue so that you will not face any error in the jailbreak process now if you check out my recent video in that i have explained the ios 15.7.3 jailbreak on your windows machine using the pelnex method in that they have using the pelnex hyphen c that is the rewrite code of the Pelrain jailbreak. Now the Pelnex ISO file got the new update that is the 1.0.7 at the moment and now it's more stable for iOS 16 devices for A11 like 8, 8 plus and iPhone X. Now you can easily jailbreak the latest iOS 16.3.1 on your Windows machine. You can download the custom ISO file from this website or I will give the links in the description. Go to my blog and download from there. So now you can see that the latest version is 1.0.7. You can download the latest version from here. Always use the latest version in the future for more stability. You can check out the changes and the fixes in this version and you will get the 32-bit and 64-bit ISO file. So you can download and install it according to your Windows architecture. But before proceeding for the jailbreak, make sure you read out all these important points as these are very important for your device as the Pelnix jailbreak is working on the Pelrain jailbreak. So if you have a 11 device, you need to turn off the passcode, touch ID and face ID and after that you can proceed. And if you used any other jailbreak first clean restore your device and after that you can proceed so just go through all these points and after that you can proceed for the jailbreak now next download the file according to your architecture i'm having the 64-bit system so i will download that one and if you have a 32-bit you can go with another one after that simply download it done i got the file on the desktop next this is the iso file so we need to make the bootable so we can use the rufus or belena etcher so you can download the rufus and belena etcher from their official website now next i want to make an important note if you're using the rufus tool for making the usb bootable in some system if you have a gpt partition table you will get some grub related issues on the bootloader and in the mbr rufus is working good but for the belena etcher that is more better so you can try this software if the rufus is working good for you you can try it but i recommend you to use the belena etcher for making the usb bootable in this pelnex case that will be more better for you now next select the Pelnex ISO file, after that you will require the USB flash drive. So you can take the 1 or 2 GB minimum or you can also take the memory card that will work for you. After that you can simply make it bootable. Now next we need to boot the Pelnex from this pen drive. So for that just reboot your system. Next go to your bio settings or boot manager settings, select the pen drive from the list and directly boot it from. Now if you don't know how to enter in the BIOS or a boot manager settings, just go to the Google, search your laptop or system model and after that you will get the shortcut key of the BIOS settings. Alright now here you will see the Pelnex main menu, in that you will get the Pelrin jailbreak option, SSH connect, shell and reboot and shutdown shortcut key. I've already discussed about these options in my old iOS 15 Pelnex video. Now next select 
the first option that is the Pelbrain jailbreak. Now on the left side you will see the jailbreak type and the default argument that is set. The jailbreak type that is default set is the root full mode and the another one is the rootless mode. In the root full mode you will get the full semi tethered jailbreak with the tweaks working and I strongly recommend you to use the root full mode instead of the rootless mode. But if you are using the root full mode make sure your device is having up to the 10 to 15 GB of free space and then only use that mode as that will create a fake root FS you will see the first option as that fake FS option will create the temporary storage in your device that will require some space. So in short you need to select two options one is the root full mode another one is the create FS to select that just press the space bar key after that you will see the star sign that means it's selected and the last debug mode is selected by default after that hit on enter you will go to the back screen and you will see these arguments and the root full mode is selected make sure in your case these option will select it and you will see these kind of argument also on your screen and then you can proceed further all right now i have this iphone 8 that is running on the latest ios 16.3.1 and it's a clean fresh restored device so if you used any previous children like pill rain or other stuff make sure you clean restore your device and after that proceed further also the passcode touch id or face id is important to off on the a11 devices only if you have other device like 7 7 plus 6 6 plus you don't have to off the touch id face id but for a11 it's important to off after that connect and hit on trust now go further and you will see your device will go into the recovery mode directly next tool will ask you to put your device into dfu mode hit on enter follow the instruction or if you know already how you can put your device into the DFU mode you can directly put that and the screen will detect the device now you can see on the left side on the screen the Pongo OS is start loading on the device so wait for it and you will see the Apple logo and the Pongo OS on your iPhone as well so now next the RAM disk and the create FS is start loading so now it will take around 10 to 12 minutes to full load the fake FS and create the temporary storage in your device so just wait for it you will see on the screen it asking you to wait for 10 minutes now one important note if you are on A9 and A8 devices like iPhone 6s, 6s plus, iPhone SE first generation maybe your device will stuck on the Pongo load screen so for that just press the control screen go back from the Pelerin screen and select the first option select the boot arguments again and just retry the process and it will work so now let me just wait for 10 minutes and see how it's work i will just fast forward the video to save your time Now once the process is completed, your device will automatically reboot. So just wait for it to get on. So now you can see the device is on. At this point you will not see any specific changes in your device except the extra storage that have been created by the create FX option. Now the first step is completed. Now we need to install the loader for jailbreak and the CLO. So for that just click on the enter button so that you will go to the main menu again. Now here you need to go to the second option again. From here make sure all the option is deselect except the last one that is the debug. So only the one option need to be selected that is the debug by default after that hit on enter and go back now you will see the argument this is the same arguments need to be shown on your screen also after that select the first option again to install the pongo os and loader on your screen so this time we only install the pongo os and loader we don't have to install the create effects again as we already done that this time we only need to install the loader so it will be very quick and fast process just put your device into the dfu mode and that's all So now it start installing the Pongo OS on your device. So do not disconnect it. Now you will see it's done. It's very quick as this time we only install the Pongo OS and loader.
Now next connect with the fast Wi-Fi and after 15 to 20 seconds you will see the Pelrin loader on your home screen and if it's not showing just reinstall the Pongo loader again and you will see the Pelrin loader and make sure you connect it with a fast Wi-Fi so let's wait for it. So now you can see it's here, just tap on it, after that you will see the Pelrain loader. Now you will see the iPhone 8 is successfully jailbroken with the Pelnex through the Pelrain jailbreak and currently I am running on the latest 16.3.1. Now next go to the settings, now here you will see the UI catch clear, respring, remount, root FS and active tweaks and do all option that will enable all the option. Also you will get the default loader as the Celio or you can install the Zebra, currently the Cedia is not here. Here. In the older Pelrin version, there is an option to install the Cedia as well but for the newer version they have removed it but maybe they will add it again in the future. Now select the do all option after that click on install and wait for it to install it. Now after that you will see the respring button, click on that. Now here you will see that Celio is installed properly. Now you can see that we have successfully jailbroken on the latest IA 16.3.1 as well as the Celio is working with full tweaks injection. That means the tweaks supported with the Pelrin jailbreak will work. But first make sure you update all the required packages and libraries so that you will get the smooth jailbreak experience. Now there is an important point. The Pelrin jailbreak doesn't support all the tweaks from the developer. They are the only specific tweaks that are supported with the Pelrin jailbreak. So I will show the complete list or you can go to the github official page. You will get the complete jailbreak tweak list that are supported with this jailbreak and some users are reported that even the tweaks are supported with the Pelrin are still not showing in the settings. So for that you just need to install the preference loader. Go to the search, search for preference loader and install it. After that respring your device and you will see your tweaks will show in the settings also. So this is the main fix you can install if your tweaks is not showing in the settings. So this is the complete step by step guide how you can jailbreak the latest IA 16.3 with the Pelnex or Pelrain jailbreak. One more thing this jailbreak is semi threaded jailbreak so if you reboot the device you will lose the jailbreak. To fix that just reconnect with the Pelrain. After that make sure go to the options and deselect all the option only the last debug option need to be select. And simply install the Pongo loader again as we already created the fake storage. So we only need to install the Pongo loader. So the same argument need to be selected on your side also. So you can check out on the screen and after that proceed further. And this time it will not take much time, it only installed the Pongo loader. So just wait for it to get complete. So now you can see we are again jailbroken, we have access the Pelrain and the Celio is working. So that is how you can re-jailbreak your device again after the reboot. So you can follow the same process and do the jailbreak with the Pelnex method. Now if you want to quit and exit from this menu, just go back and click on the reboot system. After that unplug your USB stick and you will redirect to your Windows machine. So that's all for this video. I hope you gained some knowledge through my videos. If yes, just hit the like button and if you're new here, just support me and subscribe my new YouTube channel JustaTech 2.0, also this channel. So I will see you in another video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.